Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to Source. I return to Sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in the means of purest of white light and pray that you stay winning in the highest of vibration of energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it I be. Judgment is fine. Okay. Judgment is final. I said final. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into our terror read. We have a king of cups that's leaving an institution, a situation coming out of the cold, apparently, to come to an empress energy that's going to be rejecting him, don't want nothing to do with him. This could be someone that, uh, this could be someone that, uh, I was going to say embarrassed you. This could be someone that left you for another energy, was plotting your demise with a group of people, but because something has not gone in his favor, now he wants to come back towards you to give you some type of insecure offer. This is someone that plays with other people's emotions uh, and gets a thrill out of it, okay? So this could even be someone that was being sent to you. This could be someone that's trapped in some type of situation as far as a relationship that he does not want to be a part of anymore because it's not going anywhere. Um, so he wants to come towards you because something has been revealed to him. Maybe he knows you're the true empress now and he wants to come towards you to give you some type of offer. Someone's coming from your past. I would throw with caution with this person because this is someone that is emotionally unavailable. As I said, you could know this about this person. So when they come towards you, you're going to reject them, reject their friendship. It's how they're going to come towards you. It's that they just want to be friends. They want to start off slowly with you. They want to start things slow and easy and maybe it'll turn into something else is what he's going to tell you but really so what someone is doing is coming towards you to apply your ending someone does not want you to be so sufficient does not want to see you happy with anyone else even though they're in a miserable relationship they've kind of uh made their bed and they're laying in it someone's going through karma getting a taste of their own medicine um so the only reason they're coming towards you really is to just block your forward movement they don't want you to be happy they don't want you to be thrilled. They want to block your self-sufficiency, your independence. Someone wants you to be codependent cool because that's what they are. They are codependent. Cool uh, so someone wants to come out of the cold to come towards you. Someone could even be going through some type of financial insecurity. Uh, maybe was overspending, overindulged in something. So they were with an impressed energy, finding out that it's a phase, it's a fog, it's a fog, it's a fog, it's a fog. It's a fog. He's been in a fog, but now he's looking back at you. You're looking real scrum delicious right now, and he wants to come to, back to worship because you're someone very pure-hearted, genuine, give very easily to people without any expectation, and now he's stuck in his mind about wanting to be with you, but he knows you're going to be with somebody else, and he's extremely upset, angry, envious about this relationship you're about to have, and he's taking unnecessary actions behind the scenes to be... Uh, to, to block this union from coming in. He's trying to cause a lot of difficulties. Maybe even trying to steal something from you. It's in collaboration with a community, with a group behind the scenes to block you from connecting, receiving some type of financial assistance or some type of uh, work offer collaboration, right? Because these people want you to be miserable like them, okay? Because only miserable people do things like this. Like this. You notice that misery loves company. These people want your company, but you're not miserable, so you're not going to be partaking in whatever shenanigans this is they are a part of there could be a king of pentacles reverse maybe he's choosing to listen to his intuition now or you know that you're uh that, that you're excuse me you know whoever this queen of, king of pentacles is is not someone to be um associating yourself with because this is someone that's coming towards you this is someone that's coming towards you with some type of financial motive. Someone is very greedy someone's very uh manipulative this is someone that manipulates people with your Someone could be gifted, but they're manipulative with those gifts. If they're not gifted, they're just very cunning, very crafty uh, with the way they do things. Someone could be going through some type of financial insecurity. It's like it's you or him. Maybe he was being paid behind the scenes to block your forward movement, block you from having some type of new beginning, keep you stuck, bonded, worry, and distress, and things like that. So if you have this new beginning, then he loses everything. He loses his abundance. He goes from being the, the, the empress, which is abundance, to being the king of pentacles reversed. And he's very angry, upset about that, may even envy you a little bit because things are playing out in your favor. This is someone that was setting you up for failure basically behind the scenes and you didn't know that 
But you stood your ground and this is ensuring your victory and it has these people worried and burdened because someone is still coming towards you to give to you, uh, to balance things out with you, to help you have a fresh start. You are being advised to listen to your intuition when it comes to this King of Pentacles reverse because this is someone very cunning and crafty. Uh, someone has a lot, seems to lose a lot uh, because this is someone that has been being paid to do you something or this is someone that's been paying uh, someone to work against you behind the scenes and maybe you don't even know this masculine but he knows you. Uh, but this is a, an alarming character you do not want to be associated with. Someone may get so desperate um, that they'll end up coming physically in your energy to do you something, trying to cause you some type of distress, and it may lead them into penitentiary. Uh, they're trying to sabotage your work out here, sabotage your commitment. This is what they've been doing for a long time. There's a Queen of Wands uh, that has been meeting with people to collaborate on how they can take you down, steal what belongs to you, take from you. Uh, cause you a lot of distress and things like that and it, it all has to do with jealousy but there's a higher fan that's balancing the situation out someone could be advocating for you or there's an institution stepping in to balance something out because something is getting out of hand there is some type of plan on how to uh, balance the situation out I'm not going to be revealing that I'm going to leave that for the folks to find out for the viewers to find out i guess we'll leave that for the viewers to comment um but there's something that's being balanced out you will have another king of cups that's in the upright that's making some type of decision to kind of move on with their life someone may want to be in a solid commitment not with who they've been with i don't know what this is but you're looking at two different king of cups one that is out in the cold going through some type of poverty or is just going through some type of karma because of the decisions he made. I said karma split my deck and it's under death four of pentacles. So someone is going through some type of karma, some type of rebirth because of decisions he made in the past in regards to you. Tempering with your energy, tempering with your finances. They may have taken a lot from you and now they're losing everything and then some uh, may have blocked some type of relationship or collaboration from coming towards you and they're going through endings for doing that as well. There's another king of, so king of cups um, that's having a brand new passionate beginning somewhere and is listening to, he is listening to his intuition when it comes to a king of pentacles reverse maybe this is someone he was close to someone he trusted but he's lit he's learning not to trust this person anymore because he's learning that the trust that he's putting in this person is leading to a lot of disappointments and things of that nature uh there could be a queen of pentacles uh, there could be an empress that is uh, experiencing some type of breakup or is listening to her intuition as well about a king of pentacles. There's something about a king of pentacles reverse where everybody is listening to their intuition about him. There's something that he's been doing that maybe people are just now finding out about. Um, and this has to do with either him paying for someone to temper with your work or whatever this is there is something where a lot of people are choosing to pay attention to their intuition when it comes to a king of pentacles reverse and he's very angry out here someone may be hiding their anger he don't want people to know that he is angry but a brother is angry he's not able to come towards you and gaslight you play with your emotions or whatever because you're going to see right through him like a glass door um so there's something where he's being crafty with how he comes towards you he may want to come towards you and act like he wants to invest in you invest in your work it's all something malicious be very cautious about why someone is coming towards you to invest in you there's a lot of ulterior motives to his offer to his gesture someone is greedy at the end of the day that's all he is he sees you as a money maker. You may have something that's like a ten of pentacles you're working on with that eight of pentacles out here. This is someone that's been working behind the scenes to sabotage that eight of pentacles. And maybe he knows that eight of pentacles is not going anywhere because it is something that is destined and supported by the divine. So it is here to stay. It is something that is built on a solid foundation and it serves a purpose on a larger skill as far as universal or global uh and this is by ways of the spirit realm making this decision so there's something where he's not able to sabotage 
to the point where it's like not able to be mended. Uh, so this may be pissing him off, but even though he's pissed off, he may want to come towards you to manipulate you just so he can get some type of alliance with you to have some type of hand in what it is you do. And you are being told to reject this man. You may have already rejected him and you may not know it, but kudos to you. Okay. Thank goodness for the, thank goodness for the unconscious decisions that we make that turns to turn out in our favor. But anyways, I think everyone is aware that there's something off with a King of Pentacles in a community or in a collaboration. Something is just not right about his mental. Okay. He could be very disappointed. Maybe they don't want him coming towards you. There could be another King of Pentacles nobody knows about or is new to the community. Maybe wants to invest in your work. Someone is in the upright and people are pissed off about this as well. It's a lot of anger just going on behind the scenes. But I think people are starting to listen to their intuition and take a different path because there's something that's getting, getting a little bit out of hand or it has gotten out of hand. Okay. So just be very vigilant with whoever is coming towards you. If you are a higher fan lead, a leader in a community, I would advise you to be careful as well. Someone may want to take some type of reckless action against you um, because you've chosen to balance something out. Maybe you're deciding that you want to work with someone. Uh, they may be planning or plotting your ending, your demise. So whatever decision you are making, be very cautious about it because the knuckleheads that you watch over, they have lost their goddamn mind. And I'm so sorry to use that uh, to be that frank, but they have lost their mind. These people are going through financial likes and things like that, financial insecurities and things of that nature. Nature, and they don't want you balancing something out with for someone else. Uh, but everything these people have been doing, if you are a true higher fan, you know that it's wrong and it needs to be fixed. So anyways, karma is playing out. Destiny is playing out. People are going through their karma while they're trying to cause you karma. Karma is not really something you're supposed to cause. It's supposed to be something that happens naturally. But these people think they hold power. It's that money, power, respect, but they are about to lose it lose every bit of it there's an emperor in this situation that does genuinely want to work with you um but this is someone you need to be careful of because he was why did i say genuinely there is one that wants to genuinely work with you is that someone trying to manipulate the message there is an emperor that wants to collaborate with you, but he's been collaborating against you. This could be a king of wands. Be cautious of this man coming towards you. He's not your friend. This is someone that is either binded to a situation, been, com been collaborating with these people to cause you stagnations and block you from being able to move on. So I will throw out with caution when this person comes towards you because there is no genuine intent. But there is someone else that has genuine intent for you, but it's like the karmic energies want to take over and block that message, but they want to be presented as the genuine energy. He's not genuine. It's somebody else that's genuine. You probably don't know this person, uh, but whoever else is trying to come towards you and mislead you, they're very heartbroken because you're someone that's very intellectual, very logical. They don't want you to use your logic when someone comes towards you, which you will absolutely use your logic because this is someone that's in the upright that may end up helping you balance something out once to work with you. And it's going to put you in a very beautiful energy that's going to lead to an ace of pentacles, which is what these people are trying to take from you. They may be trying to bring some type of court case about so that they can end up taking something from you legally, but it's not going to happen. Okay. Something's going to backfire. Um, this is like some type of ridiculous case that people are trying to come up with. They have you caught up in the legal system or something and it's going to backfire so horribly they won't even know what hit them. But anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.